as fears continue to grow that Russia will declare war on its neighboring country, Ukraine, and invade, the Russian military is test-firing nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles. With some 190,000 Russian troops lined up along the Ukrainian-Russian border, according to U.S. officials, the stakes are getting higher. European world leaders are accusing Russia of preparing for a military conflict bigger than anything since World War II. Not only Russia amassed all these troops around the border, but they also, through their illegal armed formations in uncontrolled Donetsk and Lugansk, started series of provocations. They started shelling our civilian objects. Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine have begun firing artillery explosives at Ukrainian military posts. Two Ukrainian soldiers have been killed and 11 others wounded so far. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris is in Europe meeting with world leaders, including the Ukrainian president. The main topic of conversation, how to convince Russian President Vladimir Putin to step back from the brink of war. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is asking the U.S. and other allied nations to place crippling economic sanctions on Russia now to deter Putin from invading. If Russia further invades Ukraine, the United States, together with our allies and partners, will impose significant and unprecedented economic cost. Experts say any invasion would likely happen in the next week or two, while the ground in Ukraine is still frozen and solid enough for tanks to travel. Warmer temperatures will cause tanks and other vehicles to get stuck in the mud in Ukraine. Russian leaders still say they're not planning to invade unless they're provoked and are forced into military action. U.S., European and Ukrainian officials are all hopeful there is still time for diplomacy.